But I've been to the gym, I've been on to, I've been going to, I don't know if you can bother, I can't, I'm not motivated, so I'm just like, anyway, I went, my, my wife said, you've got to go to the gym, so I went to the gym, and I went, last week for the first time for ages, you got this fantastic new machine, got Twix, Kit Kats, Smash, Smash, <laughs> oh, just got an handful, sat on a wooden machine, just drifted for an hour. <laughs> Ignored the oars, just drifted. <laughs> Went in the bar, three pints of lager, curry on the way home. <laughs> oh, you can see how he gets addicted. I'm one again. <laughs> so what else? Um, oh, my granny died. That's important, isn't it? Um, no, she did. What's nice was, though, um, she's 92, is she sat in the chair, she went to sleep, she closed her eyes, went to sleep, and never woke up again. And that's, I think that's lovely. I mean, the dentist shit himself. <laughs> <laughs> Bad, <laughs> I'm a bit of a jinx with my granddad. My, other, my mum's dad, he died last year when I went on tour, and he, they all get that age, so, so it's understandable, they've had a good innings in my life. He died, get this, this is lovely. He, got, he died making love to my other granny, making love on a Sunday morning. Apparently, we found out at the funeral, they did it every Sunday morning. 92 year old, no respect, a bottle of champagne. So it's my granddad. Fantastic, she said it had to be Sunday morning because he'd just gone a bit and he just needed the church bells to pace him. <laughs> She's good way into it, just needed that ding, 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 ding. She said, it's a proper shame, you'd probably still be alive if the ice cream went out and not pass. What am I, 1968? <laughs> but my other granddad, he's still going strong. He's, uh, we call him Spider Man. Oh, Spider Man, not because he's agile, he just can't get out of the bath. Oh. <laughs> Um, yeah, and he's, he's all right, he's, he's got ear in his eye and all that. In fact, I was playing balls with it. He loves balls. I mean, it's been lovely weather for it, so he's playing balls and I was playing balls. And he bowled this lovely wood and he shouted to the bloke at the other end. He said, who am I? Who am I? The bloke said, you're a foot in front. He said, what did he call me then? <laughs> <laughs> so I went around and checked, he's got a bad heart. So I'm going to go in his house the other day. <laughs> <laughs> Which one's he up to? <laughs> so, I go into his house in Bolton. I go in the, the, the kitchen door, shut. Sure. What's that? I can't look in here, is this? Ah! Oh! Mm! Ah! What? So, I go in the kitchen. He's, he's got the gas hob on full. He's got a, a full English cooking in a biscuit tin. He's got a metal biscuit tin on gas hob. It's red hot. He's got bacon eggs, sausage, tomatoes. What, 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 what are you doing, Grandad? He said, I've just been to the uh, doctor's for my check up for my eyes. He said, The best thing that I can do is throw that frying pan away. It's not. <laughs> But I got him, it was my granddad who got me into this business, you can blame him. Um, and uh, I, I, was, I was a young lad, he, uh, he knew somebody at Black Hill Tower Circus. I, I was 16 and I thought, uh, like job, job experience and that. And they sent me into Black Hill Tower Circus. I thought I was just like a circus boy. And he went, oh, you're grand oh yeah, I know you're old, are you? He said, uh, you, well, all we've got at the moment is a trainee lion term. And I went, no, I don't think so. I'm not very keen on animals. He said, well, it's up to you. And I thought, no, I've got to do it for my granddad. What do I do? He said, you take this chair and you go in the cage and you prod them with it. I don't know if you know this, ladies and gentlemen, lions bloody hate chairs. <laughs> oh, have you ever seen them? They hate chairs. Have you ever gone on safari before you lock that front door thing? Have I got a chair? You're going to need one. I said, right, I'm probably, what's a lion doing? He said, lions are bloody mad. Arr, 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 arr. I said, right, okay, but I'm all right because I've got a chair. He said, correct. You're picking it up. I went, okay. Let me just paint this scenario for you because I went to grammar school. I said, let me just paint this scenario for you. What if a lion gets lucky? What if a chair goes? He said, you don't panic because it can smell for you. I said, all oh, right. He said, you look at it in its eyes, you appear up. Appear unconcerned, appear nonchalant, back up to the bars while you're doing it. Whistle a little tune, have on guard, who cares? Mr. Lion gets a bars when you hang out in a big handful of shit. And throw it at him. Because they, they hate shit more than chairs. I don't know if you know that. David Adam has got a special on back, uh, Maybank holiday. It's called Shit and Chairs. It's about lions. It's a very special. I said, right, let me get this right. I'm in there. But it's all going. <laughs> It's all going nice and bonny. Oh, Mr. Lion. Ha ha ha. Oh, chair's gone. I don't care. I'm avant garde. I'm Renault Cleo. I'm shrugging. I'm humming a little tune. I've got to bars. He said, What if I bend down? What if there's no shit? He said, Oh, there will be. <laughs> 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 